Windows 11 isn't exactly the best operating system ever developed. And far from it. <laughs> and to be honest, uh. I do miss Windows 7 Ultimate. It was pretty awesome and very functional. And it was my favorite Windows OS. And which Windows OS is your favorite? Leave it in the comments below. But unfortunately, when you buy a new desktop computer or laptop, it comes with Windows 11. And that also includes some really annoying ads in the startup menu. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to remove those annoying ads from the Windows startup menu and those pesky and never ending pop-up notifications. So let's get started. Okay, first, we're gonna remove those Windows 11 ads from the start menu. To do this, go to Windows 11 settings, then navigate to personalization. Then go to start and disable the following. Disable recently added apps. Disable show recently opened items. Disable show recommendations. And then disable show account related notifications. These options will give you more control over the start menu and prevent random files and apps from appearing there. Next, remove the ads that are masquerading as pinned apps. To do this, open the start menu and right click the app icon for apps that you'll never use, like Kindle, Spotify, ESPN app, and then select uninstall or unpin from start. By removing these unwanted apps, you'll have a cleaner start menu. Okay, next, we're gonna block junk from appearing on the lock screen. It's unfortunate that Microsoft doesn't want you to enjoy a clean, beautiful lock screen. And yes, the company has used this space to show you ads too. However, you can fix this by going to settings, personalization, lock screen, and then next, click down the drop menu next to personalize your lock screen and select picture or slideshow. And now a new option will appear below the photo selector. It's labeled to get fun facts, tips, tricks, and more. Disable this to stop promotional content from showing up there. Okay, now we're gonna hide the OneDrive ads. Microsoft loves to nag you about signing up for OneDrive. And I personally never use OneDrive. To stop these ads too, go to Settings, System, Notifications, and turn off alerts from OneDrive. Next, go to File Explorer and click the three dots icon in the toolbar. Select Options, then go to the View tab. Now scroll down and disable Show Sync Provider Notifications, and then hit Apply. Next, let's go ahead and block unwanted notifications. These spammy type alerts are very annoying. To block these alerts, go to Settings, System, Notifications, and disable notifications for every app that spams you. FYI, some apps don't appear in this list. In such cases, you'll have to open that app and disable the alerts from its notification settings. Next, let's stop Microsoft from collecting your data to show ads. Once again, this is very annoying. To put a stop to this data collection, go to Settings, Privacy and Security, General, and disable everything on the page and I mean everything. Now let's disable the ads based on your device usage. Windows 11 tracks your device usage as another way to serve you ads. To put a stop to this, go to Settings, Personalization, Device Usage, and disable each setting on this page to stop them. Easy. Now let's fix the taskbar. If you don't want to use Microsoft's Copilot AI or see the news widgets in the taskbar, well, you can hide them. Go to Settings, Personalization, Taskbar, and turn off all the following options, Copilot, Task View, and Widgets. And lastly, you can stop Microsoft from collecting diagnostic data for ads. To do so, go to Settings, Privacy and Security, Diagnostics and Feedback, and Disable Tailored Experiences. For good measure, you should also disable Send Optional Diagnostics data. Windows 11 doesn't exactly offer a wonderful experience right out of the box, but you can adjust a few settings to fix most of its issues. Also, you might be tempted to use some third-party tool to disable Microsoft's invasive tracking with one click, 
While this may sound like the easier method than following this video, I don't recommend it. It's difficult to know what kind of changes these tools are making under the hood. And if anything goes wrong, well, it's gonna be hard to troubleshoot the problem as these types of apps generally tweak dozens of settings in one go. So basically just follow this video and you're all good. Okay guys, now that we're done removing the ads and those annoying pop-up notifications and check out this video right here. And with that guys, make sure to like, share, subscribe and comment. And for God's sakes, smash the bell icon and I'll see you in the next video real soon. High five. Peace.